Hello, I'm Michaela with Girls Who Code, back with step two of part two in this story time activity. Let's get started. In this step, we'll learn about program flow. We will not be adding any code to our program, but by the end of the step, we will understand how Python is reading our code. Think about the last time you read something. Now, think about how you read it. Top to bottom, right to left, images first, bold words last, the order in which you read determines how you process that information and make sense of it. It's the same for Python. The order or sequence that Python reads and executes code is called program flow. It's important to understand our program flow so we can control how our code runs. Let's take a look at the code we have written so far and analyze our program flow. What is Python going to execute or do first? It will display the title of the story what would happen second? It will display the opening of our story. What should it do next? It will take user input. Here we already started controlling program flow because the program pauses. It's waiting for the user to enter a response. When the user types in a word and presses enter, what happens? Think about what we wrote at the start of this line. Did you figure it out? The value of our variable floor changes. Let's add a line of code to print the value of floor so we can see this in action. Let's see if our predictions are right. We'll run our code and it prints the first two strings and waits for user input. I'll type in upstairs and the program continues when I press enter. It prints the value upstairs for floor. Python is reading the code from left to right, top to bottom. Seems easy enough. But think about what kind of story we want to make. Usually, stories are read from the start in one neat linear path to the ending. But we want to give our reader choice. To do that, our story needs to have branching paths with multiple ending places. In the rest of this activity, we are going to learn about one type of control structure or a tool we can use to affect our program flow. Instead of Python reading every line from top to bottom, we want to run a specific chunk of code based on a specific event or type of input. For example, if the reader decides to go upstairs, the program will never read the code that happens if they had chosen downstairs and vice versa. Controlling our program flow might get a little confusing and messy, but that's why it's helpful to have a handy flowchart to visualize the different paths our code can take. You can take a closer look at it in the documentation below. That's it for step two. In the next part, we'll get introduced to a way to control program flow. Conditionals!